Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to Super Panda Adventures. I didn't know if I was going to play more of this, but I felt like, surprisingly, uh, admittedly, I think part of the reason why I did slash do is because I was curious and I looked up the reviews and they are all surprisingly good. Um, like people say the game is just really good, basically. Uh, my brain is not fully on. I'm recording pretty late at night tonight, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, <laughs> I said that like a fucking news anchor. We'll see how this goes. Um, obviously, I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's just kind of the usual for this channel, let's be real here. Let's be, let's be honest with ourselves. Hopefully I unlock like a double jump or something at some point. That'd be, that'd be nice. I do notice since I've upgraded my sword last time that uh, I'm certainly doing more damage than I was before. So that's nice. Yo, what the fuck? Boss fight, huh? It's okay. We just we just smack it. I wanna pop oh, I'm almost out of shields. With it, you have the power to grapple on the ledge of a cliff and jump to higher ground. So I assume that means I can... Yep. Yeah. Okay, the question is, does that let me climb? Or is that just... Uh... Yellow key. Perfect. Then we just grab all of the things. Now I have two points. Heck, yes. Um... I mean... I feel like... Blockmaster grants a chance to walk damage without, with the shield without reducing its durability. I feel like that's good. I also, I, I really feel like I just want to like... Just do these two. Like, I, I know that's kind of boring, but I feel like that's like the key, right? to get do more damage, so uh, I'm just in less danger, but when I do take damage, I will hopefully just like be gaining life as I hit things. That's, that seems to make the most sense to me. Uh, but, you know, I suppose we'll see. So now I should be able to go up here, right? Yeah, perfect. I've not... I've now unlocked the power of friendship. Well, that's not true. I have no friends. That's also not true. I'm in a weird, weird mood to be recording. But you know what? Again, I just wanted to. I wonder if I can put on the hat. I got a power orb. Cool. We on our way. There's a lot of save points in this game. Like, a lot of checkpoints. I don't like that they jump at me like that. I think it's rude, honestly. I think they shouldn't be allowed. So, if I remember correctly, which I probably don't, uh, back this way, I believe, isn't there... Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I don't have the blue key, nor did I see where one is. Okay. So now, if I just return back to Cherry Mountain Camp, this is where I go and talk to the people. I can also just start climbing up these things, though, so that's cool. I'm supposed to talk to you? No. I assume I'm supposed to talk to this dude, right? 
Hey Tyler, I'm back. There was a giant mechanical blobby that disturbed the peace. What does that mean? It means that you have to defeat eight robot masters before you face an evil eyebrow wiggling doctor in the castle. Like Mega Man? What? Never mind. Ow. Oh. The game is trolling! Never mind. Hey, did you notice the strange glowing light on top of that mountain over there? Now that you mention it, it's quite obvious. Do you know who lives on top of that mountain? Nobody lives there. It's a very dangerous place. You should go there. Are you out of your mind? There's no way I can climb that mountain all by myself. Come on now. Princesses don't like quitters. Show that mountain who's boss and find out what this glowing light is. <laughs> Will do. Did not take very much convincing. Be careful while I'm gone. These robots are everywhere. I still have yet to meet one of these metal dudes you're talking about, but I'll be careful. Good luck to you. Thanks. Yeah, I can't make it up there. And it also answers my question of whether or not um, it's all just uh, climbing or... Yeah. I assume that's, that is an ability I unlock later. So for now, I suppose... We just, uh, go to the mountain. I'll do that. I'll do a carry. I feel like that's worth it right now. Start fresh. Since this game doesn't seem to do that when you level up or anything. I have the coin, I suppose. Also no fall damage, so that's cool. Vanilla rock. Alright. Oh, it's kind of unfortunate the music's same here, but, you know, it is what it is. Get fucked, Blobby. Can we save? Oh, so we used that. Oh. Okay, cool. So, of course, now, this level, um, there's gonna be something that I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise until I had the, uh, climbing ability, right? is terrifying. My god. Okay. I, ooh, I like that little detail. The fact that he, like, looked up. Go away. Oh wow, didn't die in one hit that time. I forget the, the, the damage is kind of, like, variable. Fuck. Rude. When stuff like that happens, it just makes me feel dumb. Like, how did I... Like, I feel like I shouldn't have gotten hit there. You know, I just hit them so many times. I need to level up that, uh, that ability more. I just, I want, is that, is this like 5% chance? Is that what this is? A chance, it just says. I'm just putting all of, all of it. Fuck it. Who cares? Is it a mistake? Probably. But, you know. I was a mistake and I'm okay. I assume this is just, like, going up to wherever the next boss fight is. This is not really a search around type area. It doesn't give me that vibe, exactly. Amulet of Life. Find the other half to unleash its magic. Okay. Oh, well, that sucks. Um, right. Well. I do sort of feel like... Yeah, this is where I just was. So, there is that cave back in the beginning. Um, kind of assuming that's where I need to go. This does not look super familiar at this part, so... We'll go this way for now. Until proven otherwise. Yep. The button that hasn't been pressed. 
while the enemies seem to respawn all the time, it's at least consistent-ish that once you hit a button, like if you're loading in the level, that won't change. So that gives you the indication of like where you're going, thankfully. I do not have any keys yet, unfortunately. Hit a save really quick. I'm gonna go this way just to see. Okay. Can't go in there yet. Alright. So, I guess we go back this way. Oh! See? Another level up. And you know what? We'll do that again. Currently level 8. He's also sort of thinking that maybe I don't need to do it because there's like health potions everywhere. But my brain is also just like, well, you know, the game might get hard eventually. Who knows? Hey, oh, I don't have golden key in this level yet. Sorry. That dude have a fucking gun? The answer is yes. He has a shotgun. See, a little bit of healing. Actually, just work like a couple times in a row. That's crazy. I assume at some point I'll also get the ability to swim. That's sort of the uh, the vibe I'm getting there. Otherwise, like I wouldn't be able to. Right, because I can only uh, jump right now, unfortunately. Okay, so let's just go back this way because there's this path to East Mountain Top. Perfect exactly where I, I need to go, probably. It does make me wonder. Uh, okay. Everything's fine. Okay, I can't do anything with those right now. That isn't activated, so I'm gonna go ahead and destroy those. I just did. Perfect. That guy can aim low. It's fine though. We ain't worried about it. We are currently not concerned. One thing I find a, a little odd about this game, um, just from like, like not the game itself, I suppose, but I was a little surprised. I was looking on Steam, and there's no achievements for this game. There are cards, but there's no achievements. Um, not that I would ever plan on 100 percent in this, most likely, but like, I don't know. Not having achievements is, seems kind of weird to me. I feel like it's such like an easy grab to do, like a hook, that this one's just like, missing for no real apparent reason. Whatever. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Okay, the the health. The health is helping. Alright. Just make up for this, my bad play. By just having all of the health regen for my attacks. Other than when it doesn't work, of course. We're gonna, we're gonna increase the overall health this time, and the damage. Probably increase the shields next time. Just so, like, I have that option as well. Because so I imagine there'll be times in which I will actually want to use the shield more than, um... Shit. Okay, that worked out. I almost fucked that up. I didn't get that coin up there. Technically, I did fuck it up, but... See, like that. I don't think there's a real way to avoid that without using the shield. I could also... I thought that was a collectible. Not a, uh... Not a spike trap. 
just my fault, I guess. Okay. Alright, I need to pay a little bit more attention right now. God damn it. Shit. Okay. Alright, healing a little bit there. What's in here? Another orb. Perfect. Honestly. Magnificent. What is this? This stone looks like it has come from another world. You got a black stone. It's like, how much more black could this be? And the answer is none. Oh wow, this plant looks so colorful, much better than my home world. Wait, who's there? Is this supposed to be like a Cortana situation? Wow, are you a ghost? A ghost? No, but it seems I'm trapped inside this stone. My name is Fiona, by the way. Nice to meet you, Fiona. I'm Fu. So, how did you get inside this black stone? I have no idea. But, there were a lot of machine men around when I got trapped, and a spaceship. Spaceship, is that how these robots have come to this world? What's going on? I'm feeling this suddenly weak. It seems like I'm fading away. Ooh. No, wait. Dang it, she's gone. Maybe Tyler knows a way to restore the power of this stone? Alright, so let's go ahead and go back there. And then we're going to call it an episode, I think. After that. After we talk to Tyler. I think I got two of the stones as well. The power stones or whatever. So we can actually do that really quick. I thought, don't I have two? Or am I, am I mistaken? I thought I have two. Alright, well, let's see. Oh, that one costs three. Well, I might as well upgrade that. Because we're gonna, we're gonna need it. Tyler, you must see this. Look what I found. What is it? You found a rock. It's a talking rock from another planet. You found a talking rock from another planet. Yes, there seems to be some kind of spirit locked inside it. Do you know how I could power this thing? Hmm, a spirit? I once heard a legend about spirit water flowing in a mountain in the desert. Spirit water in the desert? That could work. Thanks, Tyler. I'll explain everything later. I'm sure you will, Mr. Panda. Go to the Sunshine Desert if you're looking for that fountain. Good luck. Right, we're gonna go ahead and heal up again. And then... Go ahead and save, and we'll call it an episode there. I'm getting into this a little bit, actually. I think it's really simple, uh, but it's fun. So, maybe we'll see it to the end. Who knows? But until then, uh, I will see you guys next time.